Alright guys, welcome back to a, kind of a different episode this time. I'm going to be cooking up a uh, rack of deer over here. Some roasted asparagus and then I got some mashed potatoes that are starting. Got this beautiful rack right here from Max's deer. All the rib bones included in it. Um, I'm going to trim it up. The butcher left the spine center with the vertebrae on it. So I have to trim those off. We're going to get that cleaned up. It's about uh, 320 right now. So I'm going to go up and actually shovel the roof while it's still warm out. It's one of the first warm spells this month. So get that done. The potatoes will be boiled enough. And then we'll get to this stuff. I think we're going to start on the grill and then bring them back inside and sear them off. You're not even trying. <laughs> so here's the rack of deer. We have to uh, clean up the rib bones here. We're gonna cut down to just above where the loin meets and clean up all the bones. We had to use a couple different tools here to clean it up. The uh, cable snips to trim the bones down a little bit. Um, they were a little long, but the only issue with getting it done from the butcher like this, they left the spine on, which the bones are kind of loose back here now. So this first one is really loose. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that right off, and I'll just cook that piece separately. And then this front one, that's fine. So we got five ribs. So you got a uh, pat of butter in there and some milk. So we uh, put some garlic and garlic oil into the boil when it was going. Try and get these creamy enough that we can just blend them with the, uh, the hand mixer. A quick homemade seasoning. Nice and foldable. It's soft. They have that nice kind of tannish color to them. A little yellow. Will work for this. All right. So you got some uh, regular olive oil here, extra virgin, salt, herbs, spices, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic, Jane's crazy salt, it's pretty much SPG. And uh, we're gonna just coat the meat. Be good douse back. Just enough that we can coat the whole piece of meat. A little brush. So I don't want to use my hands and get them covered yet. So I gotta grab that thing of spice here in a second. You wanna make sure you get all sides of this. So you have a nice little crust. And the Traeger will do some work with that. And get a nice smoke ring on there. Okay. Like that will go in with the crazy salt. Well, that's coming up to temp. We'll get the grill ready. And we can try that little piece. Alright. <laughs> Creak in the gut. So I got some garlic confit here that I made the other day. Just had regular vegetable oil in it. And then uh, rosemary, thyme, and bay leaf. So we're going to get some oil out of it. Caramelized onions from last night when I did pulled pork. Then we're going to reach down into the garlic and grab a couple cloves. Yep, that's a good mix.
just how I wanted them. Thank you. Mm -hmm.